Welcome to the Blue Dolphin News Network. I am Dylan. And I am Angelina. Please stand for the flag salute. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now our school motto. Be safe, live responsibly, understand, respect, and encourage each other. Go Blue Dolphins! You may be seated. Hello, amazing human beings. I am so excited to be here with you. It's Ms. Rodriguez, your school counselor. And we are beginning this whole week. It's the week of respect, actually. You should be getting information this week from your teachers regarding all of the amazing things that are going to happen every single day. So it's actually October is National um, Anti-Bullying like month. So we want to make sure that we focus on that, right? And making sure that we're respectful and we practice acts of kindness and are respectful to each other and to classmates and to everyone else that's involved, right? So stop bullying month for the month of October. So it's really awesome to have that um, taking place. I apologize, I'm moving some windows around in the background. <laughs> So we're going to have a lot of great events happening this whole week. And I don't want to kind of ruin the surprise. So once you receive the information, then we'll go over in detail what those events are. But for today, we're going to focus on what is bullying. Because a lot of times we kind of, we use that word and we throw it around a lot. And I want us to be very, very conscious of us using that word bullying, right? We don't want to just say everything is bullying. Oh, someone said something to you and you're like, oh, I'm being bullied. No, not necessarily, right? There's a difference between teasing. There's a difference between bullying, okay? And you're going to see the difference in the video. And a lot of it has to do with someone just trying to be funny. They hurt your feelings and you tell them to stop. And then they're conscious of that. Like, why? Well, I apologize. I didn't mean to. And they stop. That's teasing. But when it comes to bullying, it's someone who's very intentional about constantly doing something that's hurtful, that's unkind, and doing it a lot and being very purposeful in doing that, even when they're asked, um, you've asked them to stop. So let me play a video for you now. It's called What is Bullying? Grammarly helps you work more efficiently, which makes accomplishing your work goals easier than Did you know that almost one in five students has reported being bullied at one time or another? And 41% of those students who reported being bullied at school felt like it might happen again. Bullying is a big deal and a big word that can get jumbled up. So let's take a closer look at what it means and break it down a bit. First things first, what is bullying? The actual definition goes something like this. Bullying is unwanted aggressive behavior among school-aged children that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. The behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Well, that's kind of confusing, so let's try another way. We're going to call on my friend Boo the Ghost to help us understand bullying in a different way. Don't worry though, he's friendly. We're going to take the letters in Boo's name to come up with an easy way to learn about and remember the definition of bullying. Let's start at the beginning. The B stands for being mean. Now, this isn't your everyday meanness or teasing that might happen at school. Teasing can be annoying or upsetting and sometimes even playful, but bullying is never playful and it always does harm. When you're being teased, you should be able to say stop and the other person listens then you may have to repeat yourself a time or two. With bullying, the meanness keeps going, even though the person knows you don't like it. The O stands for on purpose. We have all made mistakes. Nobody is perfect. What matters is what we do once the mistake has been made. When someone tells you that you have hurt their feelings, what do you do? Do you own it and apologize? Or do you ignore it and do it again? 
Bullying happens when we are mean to someone on purpose, knowing that what we're doing is going to hurt their feelings. Mm -hmm. The meanness is meant to make you feel small while the other person feels powerful and in control. This is called an imbalance of power, and it is a sure sign of bullying. The last O in Boo's name stands for over and over again. If we try to tell someone that what they are doing is hurting our feelings and they still don't stop, that is when we say the meanness is repeating. It happens over and over again, even though you or a trusted adult have asked the person to stop. So bullying is being mean on purpose over and over again. But wait, what does being mean look like with bullying? It gets a little more complicated than just calling someone a name. So let's take a look at that too. Bullying may look different from person to person, but the result is the same. One person is left feeling bad while the other is left feeling in control. Some types of bullying that you might see or experience can be broken down into four different types, physical, verbal, social, emotional, and cyber. Physical bullying is typically the kind that most kids think about at first. It's the easiest to define because it's usually pretty easy to see. Physical bullying may include hitting, pushing or shoving, kicking, tripping or stomping. What you may not know is that it can actually include stealing or damaging someone else's things too. Verbal bullying is really common because it's quick and easy to do. Plus, it's hard for grown-ups to see, so it can be hidden too. Verbal bullying may include cruel teasing, when someone keeps going when you have told them to stop, name calling, threatening others, mean jokes, rumors, gossip, and saying things about someone that aren't true. Social and emotional bullying can sometimes be the hardest to spot. Though this type of bullying may not leave bruises, it still hurts a lot and can leave you feeling sad, scared, or alone. Social emotional bullying may include leaving someone out on purpose, telling lies about someone, and embarrassing someone in front of other people. You can combine verbal and social bullying to get our next type. Cyberbullying is a type of bullying that happens online, and it's become really common. This can happen through text messages, apps, or emails. It can happen on a phone, computer, tablet, gaming console, basically any type of electronic device that connects you with other people. Cyberbullying can include posting rumors on social media, sharing embarrassing pictures or videos, and making fake profiles or websites. Knowing what bullying is makes it more likely that you will take steps to stop it. Find out what to do about bullying in our next video. And for more information about what to do about bullying or just information about bullying in general, ask an adult. So I love this video on bullying, right? And it really talks about the different types of bullying. Well, we've been seeing two, which has been a little bit more common, especially because of the pandemic is the cyber bullying. So make sure you are super conscious of what you're doing, of what you're saying, of how you're making people feel. Always treat others like the golden rule. Always treat others the way you want to be treated, right? Have a super amazing day.